Hey guys, welcome back to another Forza Horizon 4 video. I know it's been quite some time, but today we got something epic going on in the game, and we've been super excited for this car to come to Forza Horizon 4 for a very, very long time. I actually predicted that it would come eventually because this car, everybody wants to own and drive, and that's exactly why I'm gonna show you guys how you can win the Lamborghini Huracan Performante that has just been released in this game today. So I'm gonna show you exactly what I do in order to win this car. And it's nothing brand new or anything. It's very straightforward. It has to do with the festival playlist and achieving 50% of all the events. But then we're gonna go ahead and win this car and do a full customization on it and just show you what to expect before you get it so looking over here it is autumn we've already gone through the summertime we do have quite a bit of prizes this forzathon as well so i'll go over everything that we can end up doing so we got of course the forzathon challenges the four that give you the most amount of points towards that 50 percent so make sure you guys get this done the very first one is own and drive any track toy vehicle so we'll get that very very quickly of course you have your daily challenges that you can get done as well green lane which is complete across country event some of them take a little bit longer than others like earn two awesome air skills it's very easy where a cross country event it just takes a little bit longer so you can do them if you want if not it's not really a big deal they're not necessary to win that lamborghini now we can go over to the trial. This is a very good one. It's more fun as well. Um, so you can definitely do this. It adds quite a bit of percentage to your overall completion. And then of course we got a car that we can win. The MB280 SL. It's a Mercedes older classic one. We got the super wheel spin reward that you can win from this one, which is a danger sign. So definitely make sure to do the danger signs. They're very, very easy. Take no time at all. Um, this one is like a playground event uh, for that Mercedes, so you definitely want to do that too because it's more fun than just racing around a track a couple times. We got the uh, speed trap, I believe that's what it is, either a speed trap or like a um, something to do with speed. Anyway, you win a super wheel spin, so that one's easy to do, so do that one. Same sort of situation, a speed trap here, and you win another wheel spin, do that one. So those are four that you can do, or five, sorry, that you can do right off the bat and as well as the Forzathon challenge. And that should be 50% complete, to be honest. So that only leaves three more. But I would do, honestly, all of them if you have time. Like this one's a race, and you win the 2016 Lamborghini Aventador SV. That's a very good one as well. You, you actually win a Lamborghini Veneno off this one. It's also a race. And then this one is a modern modern race helmet white so you can also win that if you wanted to um but that's another race so these three races these are all like playground and and just quick events that you can do this one actually the trial may be a little bit difficult if you don't get the right team i believe the trial is always a hit or miss if you get the right team then it's very easy if you don't then it can become kind of a pain going over and over and over um but yeah very simple these are going to be uh relatively quick to do probably with the next hour i would say so i'm not going to make you guys watch them all but once i hit that 50 percent completion i'll show you exactly the events that i ended up doing and then we'll jump into that lamborghini aventador or not aventador hurricane performante we're off to a rough start but bear with me here we go Okay, so there you have it. We now have the Performante in the garage and it definitely took some time, about like an hour and a half to two hours to actually complete because some of the events are actually longer than I thought and I'll go over that in just a second. I'll show you exactly which ones I actually ended up doing, but there it is. This thing is absolutely beautiful, such a monster and honestly just every aspect of this car is incredible. The forged carbon all on the back bumper there and the spoiler and then even the interior there's a whole bunch of forged carbon as well just looks absolutely stunning i love this car it's actually one of my favorite cars in real life as well next to like the gt2 rs and we're not talking about hyper cars no conus eggs we're talking about just standard exotic cars like this so very cool nice upgrade from just the regular huracan let's take a look at the engine bay i know a lot of them are gold plated 
This one is also gold plate plated. Not actual gold. It's more like of a, a bronze color, uh, but it's just colored there. So that's very nice. All right. So we'll jump into uh, exactly what we actually ended up doing. I'm going to check the auction house very quickly, see if any of these are actually up, which they shouldn't be because they are very gonna, are going to be very rare and not many people are going to want to sell them. But let's take a look at the Lamborghini Huracan. P is what it's called so let's go ahead and confirm that if there are any on the auction house which there's not I would have bought them instantly it doesn't really matter what amount of money that I would buy them for because you can always flip it for like 20 mil any day of the week but this thing's absolutely sinister man it looks so good let's go ahead and jump over to the horizon festival take a look what I did and I tried to do all the easy ones but it ended up I had to do quite a bit. So anyway, jumping into the Forzathon, I completed all four of the challenges to get me those 200 um, Forzathon credits, number one, and then just to add on as much percentage as possible to that 50%. So we completed all four of those. You want to do those first. So make sure these are the first ones that you get done because if you do all the other, other events before this one, You'll end up at like 49 or 48 percent and then you'll have to do this that means you have to do everything to get past that 50 percent but if you start with this then you don't have to do a couple of the events not sure if that makes sense but i can clarify it down in the comments below i ended up doing two daily challenges there uh the flying high and mad as a hater uh you don't really or hatter i don't know what this is hatter um you don't really need to do these they're just literally ones that you end up doing uh, just by doing everything else um, like the air skill you're doing when you're earning um, skill credits or whatever but pretty much the four challenges that you have to do here I'll try and remember first is own a track toy so maybe a 488 pista or anything else um, the second one is earn 12 stars uh, in like a speed zone so that was very very easy the third one's a million credits in your track toy um which is by like the skills so going around smashing into things doing drifts all that sort of stuff and the fourth one was as you can see win three road circuit events and there is a trick to that i can explain that as well if you guys have any comments or concerns about it leave them down below so let's take a look at the forest on shop we have a maserati and a nice ferrari down here um pretty basic stuff nothing too crazy i don't think i own that maserati or that ferrari and i have 2200 forzathon points so i should get them but for now i'm gonna actually skip out we'll jump back into all the other events so i did the trial one which was very good uh, it was a lot of fun too like i got the right team right away so we we're all kicking ass during the, all three of the races it does take some time for sure and especially if you get a bad team and you lose you have to do it over and over and over until your team wins but luckily i got down or done on the first try and i ended up winning a car which is very cool ended up doing the playground games very similar to the trial but it's playground games instead so it's not racing it's like um capture the the flag and that sort of stuff ended up getting a good team at the very beginning so i won the very first time and i won that mercedes that you can see in the picture then we go down to this one it was very easy i upgraded a lotus uh like the track toy one the uh i forget what it's called it might be like an 11 or or whatever it is but i fully upgraded it literally tried once to get it and literally got it so that was very easy these two were very easy as well i used the 488 p stuff for both of them took some time on one of them but the other one was super super easy like 205 miles per hour you have to hit on a speed trap and then of course after all those were completed i was at 48 percent so now i have to do one more of these three events here and i ended up doing this one just because it gave you a lamborghini veneno by beating it on highly skilled so i wanted to do that instead of the the sv and instead of the hel helmet but it's a three race event so you go through all three races and at the end you have to have the best score and then if you do then you get that veneno so very cool lots of fun i'll probably end up doing these two challenges anyway in the future as well and maybe hopefully win that maserati as you can see right there the mc12 forza edition and then maybe a remax but i already have a remax so it's not really 
that big a deal. The main thing was that Lamborghini Huracan Performante. If you don't win it this week, today's literally the first day that I'm posting this. If you don't win this this week, it's going to be super hard for you guys to get unless you have a friend that has an extra one somehow. So there you have it. Those are all the events that I ended up completing. You can do whatever ones you want. I just find that's the easiest. We'll take a quick look, see what's coming because I haven't really actually taken a look at any of this. To be honest, we have a Porsche 718, an old one, a uh, Porsche 914. So this looks like a Porsche week, a 911 GT3 RS 2019. Not sure if that's still rare or not, but it used to be super rare. And then a SLR up at the top. Very cool. And then for the spring, we have a Caddy Escalade. Interesting. Um, a Lycan Hypersport. We have a Mini Cooper. Uh, Unicorn, a Ghibli, and a Toyota. So nothing too exciting over the next couple weeks, to be honest. But this Huracan Performante definitely makes up for it. So let's go ahead. We're going to take it for a quick spin, see how this thing performs. Now it is fully stock right now, too. I haven't done any modifications to it. That will be in the next video. I'll do a full customization on the Huracan Performante but for now we'll just go ahead and drive it and it seems pretty good not gonna lie it is kind of slow because it is stock like it doesn't feel like it's fast at all it feels like it's very easy to maneuver and avoid all these cars beside besides that one <laughs> um, but yeah it seems pretty easy I love the Alcantara on the steering wheel and the whole dash that's just absolutely stunning and then of course the forged carb in there the sound is okay too i'm sure it'll get better with a better exhaust on it and the handling's okay as well it's pretty uh simple to handle like a, a slower car it's unfortunate it feels so slow <laughs> we got a her or uh no a kona seg there and a um pagani zonda very nice a chinque what color would you guys want on the Huracan Performante me personally I want like a nice baby blue I have a uh, 1 to 18 scale die cast model uh, two of them actually one's like a nice Ferrari red color and then the other is a lime green so looks very nice but orange I don't know about orange I think I would honestly do like a a nice baby blue and then some black rims i like the bronze or the gold but it's just for me not not the best but yeah let me know down in the comments what color you're going to make your huracan performante and if you're not following me over on instagram make sure to go over to m77 gaming and then give me a follow and then you can even actually take a photo of your huracan performante and send it to me and i'll uh, i'll check them out Literally, like I said, one of my favorite cars. So checking out everyone's spec on it would definitely be uh, a lot of fun. But anyway, I've crashed this thing enough. I think that's going to wrap it up for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to smash that like button. Make sure you guys are subscribed and stay tuned for the full customization of the Huracan Performante. I'll see you guys later.